What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, you know the vibes, man. We back with another Division 2 build video, man. I'm Listen, I'm loving this build right now. This build to me is extremely toxic. It's gonna piss a lot of people off. Um, some people aren't gonna be happy about the fact that I'm putting this build out, but I, I really like the way it's running. I really like the way I feel about it. Um, it's not going to be for everyone's play style. Everyone is not going to go with this meta build right here. I think it's a meta build because I think it's the way you should run hazard protection and armor regen. I'm talking about, man, 80k armor regen and you can't really be affected by any status whatsoever. Just think around for the build, man. This is that Ricky build. <laughs> I'll let you guys see in a second why I named it the Ricky Bill. Was started off just like this, man. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later for the build description. Peace.
what's going on guys thank you guys for watching that footage man i appreciate you guys once again man if you guys haven't done so already make sure you smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you're new join the vibe family man and even if you want to go a little step further to show some more love there's a join button down below you can join green gang man so if you're watching this video right now it's probably around 11 a.m ish we'll be going live right over on twitch just head over there for episode 24 play state of the game man we're gonna chop it up talk about the game where the game is now how do we feel about the game and things of that sort so let's get into the build man let's get into this build man so of course i'm maining the lady death and to me the lady death is still on top i'm not shitting on the backfire but you know through testing i've realized that if you don't have at least 90 percent hazard protection all around your or at least 90 percent bleed resistance every reload you're gonna bleed it doesn't matter if you have 75 or 85 you need at least 90 to not bleed so for this build i'm gonna main the lady death um i don't really want to go in detail of what the lady death does or what the lady death is at this point it's old news you can look it up um the secondary weapon right now i'm using a double barrel shotgun with in sync right now i'm really loving shotties right now with in sync you can use any shotgun you want, man. I'm not saying that this is the be all end all for shotguns. Pick and choose how you want to run it. Of course, you know, I'm running survivalist specialization. So, you know, I have the survivalist handgun. Don't use the handgun in the fight, but you know, rock it how you want to rock it. I'm literally only running survivalist strictly to give my whole crew armor once I pop a med kit. So when you pop a med kit, when you run a survivalist, there's a there's a skill tree uh talent that's going to give the entire group 100 percent armor so it's, it's it works very well in the group okay so now let's get into the build i am running two piece golden gear which gives you status effects and armor region and i'm gonna tell you when that status effect comes into play and it, and it definitely works in handy so the way you want to run this build is this is an all blue build this is not a damage build it's not a crit build it's all blue 170k armor Try your best to get max regen and hazard protection on this build. And if you can, put in snare resistance. If you had 10% mods, no problem. Make sure you put those ensnare resistance mods in here and that'll stop you from ever getting good. You will never have to deal with that. Chest piece, I'm running one piece Badger Tough and I'm running the zero Fs for perfectly unbreakable. For obvious reasons, you wanna get as much armor back as you possibly can. This is not the greatest Badger Tough chest piece, but this is as close to a Garo as I have. And of course, I put another Ensnare Resistance mod into the mod slot. On the backpack, this is important. You need at least one piece, y'all. This backpack is different. This backpack is different. Right now, I'm stacking Unbreakable with Versatile. And as you guys can see, I'm running a SMG and a shotgun, man. So it's definitely working hand in hand. I'm loving it. The energy is great, man. And one piece y'all is gonna give you 10% hazard protection. So you can't go wrong with that. And like I told you guys earlier, on every single piece on this build, you wanna at least have armor regen and hazard protection maxed out. On the gloves, same thing. Armor, armor regen, hazard protection. On the holster, I wasn't able to find a guard roll of Bellstone Armory piece, but this is the best I could do as far as the holster goes so i don't have 170k on the holster but that's fine um you're still going to be right around 1.8 1.9 million armor the real the real gist of the build is getting that armor regen maxed and that hazard protection maxed and then i went with the murakami knees um no hazard protection on the knees but that's fine and i'll show you how everything still works out perfect no hazard protection on the knees but you do have another one percent armor regen and you want to roll that skill tier off and give yourself another 170k armor and of course it came with armor regen so you know if i could have had that max that would have been the ideal way to go but um this build is pretty much max the way it is and the skills as you guys seen from the gameplay i'm running riot foam riot foam has not changed it is not any different in my eyes this is just my opinion riot foam works great um the reason I run, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys the reason why I'm running Riot Foam. I've been foamed so much, I had to make a hazard build, right? So I said, you know what, I'm going to make a hazard build that I enjoy running. I have a hazard build, but I don't enjoy running it. 
it's kind of like a prerequisite where you have to run hazard so if i have to run it why not make it something fun that i can enjoy running and even if it is a little toxic i'm fine with that so for me i realized that when you run riot farm you force the other team to have to put on a build that they don't want to put on so you want to fight offense with offense just like you know people are going to put bleed hives and things of that sort on you so come equipped with that and then i always run a jammer for obvious reasons there's just too many skills in the dark zone too many shields um people are still using shields people said that the shields wouldn't be meta anymore everybody's still using shields there's still an ample amount of shields in the dz right so now let's get into the meat and potatoes which is the stats which i know everybody would like to see and um as you guys like i told you I have 40% crit hit chance, 50% crit hit damage, 70% headshot damage, 6% armor damage. This is not a, uh, a damage build, but it's just enough. It's just enough to get things done. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you, you, you'll get it done with, the, with these stats, right? Let's really look at what we really here for. And that's that armor region. So because of this build, I'm basically getting 80,000 armor regeneration per second. It might not seem like much, but I'm telling you, when you run it this way, that armor regen's great, man. And God forbid you got a heal on your team, you're gonna be almost unkillable with a build like this. Just try it out before you say, oh, this build isn't viable. Um, it's definitely team oriented. Um, you definitely wanna have a specific type of role. I found that the way I'm running the build now is the most effective way to run this build in my eyes, right? And overall, you're gonna have 70% has a protection on this build. Now what I did, because I put three engineer resistance mods into the mod slot, I now have 97% ensnare resistance. So effective immediately, Riot Foam is the only thing to me that affects my PVP. So if you can't foam me, you can't do anything with me besides focus fire me and try your best to get me out of here. You get what I'm saying? And bleed and things of that sort really don't affect you when you have at least 70 percent hazard protection and then you know if you could get one of the your teammates to run a booster hive that'll give you a little bit more of a buff so there's so many ways to run this build man like i told you guys like i always say in all my videos my bills are just templates you don't have to run it this way you don't have to use it this way it's all up to you man and i appreciate you guys watching the footage as usual and rocking with your boy anybody that's new to the family man welcome you're appreciated Thank you guys for being here, rocking with me. I'll catch you guys over at Play State of the Game, man. I'll see you guys over there, guys. Peace.